Hey guys, Dark Fairy 22 here, and as you can see, I am burning um, I at Coast 5i ISO to a DVD. I've been trying to install um, Mac on one of my other computers, but it's not been going very well. Other laptop that's crap. And I've been trying, so now I'm going to try IATCOS. And I'm just going to tell you Active ISO Burner. Active at ISO Burner. Probably one of the best burners. Here's the. Here it is, right here. Right there. That's probably one of the best. And nobody here probably knows this, but um, I'm wa I want to make apps for iPod touches and stuff I think you guys know this but I have the iPod touch fourth generation I got it for Christmas and so um got involved into all this cool stuff and making um apps and stuff and so I wanted to make apps and I've been trying to install Mac on my computer so I can um make apps because I can't do it on Windows. I tried. I looked up everything, but there isn't one. But, um, yeah, so, um, I just wanted to tell you the active at ISO burner is probably the best. Um, and then if anyone has, like, a Mac that they don't use anymore, like a laptop or a, um, even old Mac PC. I would, I mean, I would be grateful if I could use that, and, like, yeah, so, um, oh, yeah, and then there's a, um, new jailbreak out for 4.3.1, I think, oh, it's in this file, um, oops. yep, um, 4.3.1, they have it out, finally, I accidentally updated my iPod, so, you want to download Red Snow 9, 0.9.6, RC 9, and then, that's what you want, and then you want to download the firmware for your iPod Touch, iPhone, um, let me think, Oh, and this is an untethered jailbreak. So, thank you, Lord, for untethered. I hate tethered jailbreaks. They never work out for me. And so, browse. I don't have my iPod with me. I left it somewhere. I think it's upstairs in my room somewhere. I don't feel like going up there and getting it. And there it is right there. There's my Apple firmware. And then, let me tell you something. Make sure when you jailbreak it, Download Tiny Umbrella and um, see that black um, box there is for Tiny Umbrella downloading and recalculating splines and all that. So once um, you jailbreak yours, I'd recommend saving your SHSHs on here. See, there's my iPod, Jeremy Williams. These are the stuff I've had on here all of the um whatever they're called I don't remember sorry um and so you've got all these and yeah so you want to save these and so that you can restore your firmware because you can like with this if you're stuck in recovery mode you can click exit recovery like if you keep getting errors you can click exit recovery up oh, my disk just finished um you can click exit recovery and it'll just pop you back right at your login screen i guess you could say but um um guess that's all i need to say because my cd just finished and um i'm gonna try putting mac on one of my other laptop not really my laptop but
I don't care. Um, yeah. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Um, send me a private message if you have like a Mac that I could borrow or something. I'll be updating in a little while. Um, if I could get get Mac on there. But until then, if you have a Mac that I could use, like like if if I could have it and like maybe pay you so much money I can't pay like a ton of money because I don't have that but um like an old Mac PC or an old Mac laptop or anything like that um that would be nice uh comment rate and subscribe thanks for watching